Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna tell you a terrible story involving a goat, terrible monsters and their mistress, and powerless witnesses. This is their story. Last year my boyfriend and I went to a park, and there are farm goats living there, not directly in the park, but on hills around it. We were wandering around when we saw two dogs barking at each other. One on top of a hill, and the other one at the base. I told my boyfriend, Oh look! They're playing Romeo and Juliet! That's adorable! But suddenly, a freaking goat popped out of a bush and jumped from the hill. But Juliet caught it by the leg. I was really impressed by these shepherd dogs. Dedicated to their work of guarding little goats, saving their lives when they try to kill themselves. Then I realized that if they really were the shepherds, why did she seem so afraid of them? <gasps> oh god, they think that poor goat is their name toy. So, just let go of the poor thing so Romeo would be able to catch it. But the goat jumped into a ditch nearby. Now, there was a poor goat swimming in some dirty water, and we, like many people around us, didn't know what to do. A woman behind us seemed concerned, and then screamed two names. Two dogs' names. We all knew from this point that she was the unresponsible owner of Romeo and Juliet. When they finally came back to her, after five long minutes, she looked at them, and yelled. Bad dogs! No! Bad! I said no! Don't do it! Bad dogs! Like, what the heck, woman? Do you think they understand what they did? They were just playing or, worse, hunting. Something you could have... No, you should have told them not to do with other animals. Bravo, madame. That's exactly how you train two dogs. Here's your diploma of incompetence, you stupid fuck. Conversely to us, two men decided to jump into the water to save the goat. They grabbed her by the horns and dragged her to the ground. They backed up a little, she stood up, and ran back into the ditch. So, they got her out of the water again, but this time, they maintained her on the grass. The poor beast had her left ear missing and a bleeding leg. We decided to call a vet to take care of the goat. Now, imagine you are a dog owner, and you've decided to unleash your two not well-trained not to say untrained at all, dogs into a public area. They hurt something or someone, and it's kind of bad. What do you do? 1. You ignore the situation. It's not your dog's fault. 2. You apologize and pay for whatever medical assistance they will need to recover. 3. Run away while no one is watching. Guess what Romeo and Juliet's owner did? run away when no one was watching. The god got well and had a little article about her in the journal. There's that at least. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you liked it, and if you did, don't hesitate to subscribe so you can see the other videos that, that I will release on. Thank you very much and see you next time.